welcome to another video. Today, I hope to talk about Neisseria meningitis. If this is your first time here, subscribe and hit the bell so you won't miss anything. Moving to the topic Neisseria meningitis, it's a gram-negative diplococci. It is a fastidious organism, therefore it requires enriched selective media for its growth. They have a polysaccharide capsule. It acts as a virulence factor because it is antiphagocytic. There are capsular antigens present in this polysaccharide capsule. Serotypes of the meningitis are determined by the type of the antigen present in the polysaccharide capsule. Out of those, A, B, C, W, 1, 3, 5, X and Y are commonly associated with outbreaks and epidemics. They secrete IgA proteases, which is another important virulent factor. Also, they have pili for the adherence. As they are gram-negative bacteria, they have endotoxins in their cell wall. Usually, gram-negatives have lipopolysaccharides as endotoxins. But this is a bit different. Meningitis has lipooligosaccharides as endotoxins. Also, they produce catalases and coagulases. As to the transmission, it is transmitted from person to person by respiratory secretions and direct contact. Neisseria meningitis is present in our nasopharynx as common cell flora. Immunocompromised patients and those who have a deficiency of terminal common complement pathway are susceptible for meningitis infection. Meningitis can enter to the bloodstream and it gets proliferated, resulting in meningococcemia. Also, meningitis has the ability to cross the blood-brain barrier and inflame meninges, giving rise to bacterial meningitis. Neisseria meningitis causes bacterial meningitis commonly in children and adolescents. That is the age group between 3 to 18 years and 18 to 50 years. Meningitis causes the classic triad of symptoms including headache, fever and meningismus. Next stiffness, photophobia, seizures and vomiting are also considered as symptoms of meningitis. Bacterial meningitis needs prompt and appropriate treatment. If it is left untreated, it can be fatal. It has a high morbidity and mortality rate. Coming back to Neisseria meningitis, it gives rise to a petechial rash. This meningococcal rash is a significant feature. Also, arthritis, peritonitis, vasculitis, septic shock and disseminated intravascular coagulation are the other manifestations of meningococcemia. Infection by meningitis causes hemorrhages in adrenal gland, resulting in waterhouse Friderichsen syndrome. This is the end of the video today. Let's meet from another video like this.